Dear Delphi, how are you? It's been a while. Will you be coming back soon? I've been having these really odd dreams since you left, and I was wondering if maybe I could talk to you about them? Thanks, Castellese. Uh. Hmm. Maybe I could get Ace to write my letter. Hello, Castellese. How are you? Oh, hey, Dan. I'm fine, I guess. Still trying to write that letter to Adelpha, I see. Have you succeeded yet? No luck. This is the problem with having these three fingers. You can't write anything. Could they, uh, have, you know... I don't know, built me with more than three fingers? Hmm, I suppose that is unfortunate. What do you wish to tell her? Well, it's hard to explain. I've been having these dreams recently. No worries, that behavior is perfectly healthy. When your cash adapter processes information during sleep mode, you occasionally replay memories through your vision, i.e., you experience dreams. Maybe. But, do dreams usually involve creepy plant things wrapping around you? That does seem odd. Could you elaborate? Sorry, I don't know if I can. It's all a blur, but it involves something like a, yeah, a tree. Oh, there are many trees on the walk we had taken. That must have been it. Not like that. This is really small. I think I can hold it. So, like a bonsai? A what? Processing. One moment, please. Here we are. Bonsai. Noun. A potted tree or shrub dwarfed, e.g. by pruning the roots, for ornamental effect. Japanese. Cited from the new lexicon Webster's Dictionary of the English Language. 1988 edition. Thank you, Dant. Now I can live the rest of my existence a little wiser. Oh, Ace. Hi. Can I have a sec? No. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, what's up? Do you know if I could borrow your typewriter? <laughs> no. What for? I wanted to write a letter to Adelpha. Then take a pencil and... Ah. Okay, well, typewriter's yours. Just give it a shine when you're done. I don't like smudges. Will do! Thanks a bunch! <laughs> Kid needs the doc to fix his gyroscope. What are those? Docs. Managed to find an upkeeper in town, and I'm scheduled to meet him later today. Overall, pretty positive turn of events. That's good. I'm glad you're feeling better. Whoa. Hey, that's new. Thank you. I've been practicing. Very nice. Okay, then. Meeting at 1300 hours, a couple blocks off Hark Street. Little stroll, but sure. May I accompany you? I don't have any other matters at hand. You know what? All right. Okay, fine. You can walk with me, but don't do anything embarrassing. What constitutes an act as embarrassing? You know, uh, hanging off a flagpole or uh, greeting yourself as D A N T dash one C to everyone you come across. Hanging off a flagpole sounds very fun. Thank you for the recommendation. Dan, no. Ah, yeah. <laughs> my apologies. That was my flawed attempt at humor. <sighs> Something's flawed. Okay, sure. As long as you do nothing of the kind during our walk, it'll be okay. Got it? Of course. All right. One sec while I get up to time and... Oh, yeah, gotta go. It only took three and a half hours, but it's finally done! Need to thank Ace when he and Dan get back. There we go! Hope it gets there quick. No, I had to pay Dan's upkeepers a visit. It's been a while since I've talked to them. 
I've been talking to myself for just a little too long. Castellis, I haven't seen you since Dad's presentation. Hey, William. Dan and Ace are out right now. I wanted to know if you had time to chat. Oh, of, of course. Come on in. Hey, Castellis, how you doing? Oh, I'm fine. Just thought I'd pay a visit. Oh, did Dan tell you yet? He's been using contractions when speaking. He practiced all last night and this morning. Wow, really? That's a big step for him. We're so proud of him. His creator would be too, I bet. Totally. Speaking of his creator, how much do you know about who made Dan? I asked him about the logo saying who made him, but he didn't know much about it. Huh. Never met them personally. But the company is Heracles Engineering. And we got a copy of Dan's blueprints. Oh, uh, that might have their name. Uh, one moment. Sounds good. This should do it. Under the notes. Wait just a second. This note. Keep the eyes unrealistically shiny? Yeah, they're just to make them cuter. Not mandatory. I'm not referring to the words. This is Adelpha's handwriting. Who? Adelpha Costa Keys. My upkeeper. Never heard of her, but maybe. Uh, what processor do you use? No clue. Huh. Weird. Cache, sensory adapter, emotion chip? Any idea who or what those are from? Sorry, I don't. Hmm. You wouldn't happen to have had any incidents in the past, would you? Anything that might have made you damage your cache or cache adapter? I mean, a human pushed me over last week. Didn't hit my head, though. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear that in any case. We gotta open him up. Um, what? Excuse me? If this... Okay. If the handwriting here belongs to your doc, meaning she built Dad... Then, if we take a look at your interior workings and find it similar... If it's similar to Dad, we'll know she built both of you two. Meaning you'll essentially be siblings, if true. So, thoughts? I, uh, I, I don't know. I, if you should. Well, why not? I, it's just, uh, I, that's not a good idea. I, I shouldn't. No. No. We're not, I, I'm not doing that. You are not doing that to me. Whoa, whoa, hey, look, we won't do anything you're uncomfortable with. If you don't want us to open you up, we won't, all right? But maybe keep it in mind the next time you see your upkeeper. I'm especially eager to find out if Dant has a brother of sorts. I, okay. Yeah. I... I will. I need some air. Uh, figuratively, of course. But you knew that. Whatever, I'll just... Yeah, I'll go. was that? Maybe a bad experience with a mechanic or something? Uh, who knows. What was that? What's it like to get a new upkeeper? I have had the same ones for longer than my cash can tape. Well, it's pretty straightforward. You give them your ID number along with the name of your creator or manufacturing company, depending on where you're from. You know, general stuff like that that tells your new pal that you are indeed the bot that you say you are. Then you hand them some docs for some more specific stuff, schedule maintenance times, and bada bing, bada boom, the upkeeper. Somebody appears enthusiastic. And, speaking of, I'm going to take a wild stab in the dark and assume that you are the guy I'm looking for. That depends on whether or not you were looking for an upkeeper. 
Fantabulous. H. Pignacho, PDB. The pleasure's all mine. Call me Deck. Oh? Well, I may not look the part, but I can be a bit of a card sometimes. Huh. You don't look like one. The only thing I can see is a suit. Fast. Always. ID number is uh, 133 TAC 341 TAC 585. Creator name Thomas Alva Edison the Fourth and Sidney Blake. Edison, you say the Edison. <laughs> Let me keep it simple for you, Deck. If you're thinking of anyone other than the greatest inventor, rather inventors, that America has ever had to offer, you are wrong. Simple as that. <laughs> I might not be an Edison, but I can keep you from falling apart long enough to let him get mad at me for fixing you. And that's the kind of guy I need. Bi weekly Saturday mornings work, I'm assuming? Perfectly. Gotcha, gotcha. So, I've been having some problems with uh, my emotion ship lately. I, I'm, I don't exactly have a good, reliable circuit diagram mm. for how my emotion ship is actually hooked up into my power supply. Uh, and every time that I have tried to look, well, I can't exactly take these eyes out. So, maybe that's something you can kind of look at. I, I don't know whether or not there might be some moisture damage or, or, or something that's got it on the fritz. So, I mean, I, I don't know what the standards are. Well, if that's the case, it would be simple enough to repair, I'm sure. Are you sure it's the emotion ship instead of your, uh, your cash, however? When is the last time you, uh, you cleaned that out? So, I do, uh, I do a cash clean every six months, give or take about a week. Hmm. I do store a lot more information, by and large, than your, uh, okay. your average workaday bot, just by virtue of what I do with my time, so. I see, I It's a little see. bit more frequent, I don't know whether or not, uh, there's electron wear or something that might be causing this type of thing. Indeed. And it wouldn't happen to be a problem with your cash adapter, perhaps? Why when... are you wearing a loose, open coat, Mr. Deck? Upkeepers should normally wear no loose-fitting garments, as prevent getting caught in any machinery while operating Well, excuse on... you too, Dant. Never heard of waiting until somebody finished their sentence? See, this is literally the reason why I didn't want to bring you along with me. You were like, hey, exercise though, and I was like, robots don't need exercise, mm. but sure, okay, fine. Might as well bring you along if it shuts you up. And you did, which was all good and fine and all well, until you decided that now was the perfect time while well, I'm in the middle of getting a diagnosis uh, oh for my. an issue that you know I've had. And you just ruined the entire conversation, the entire flow of it, to talk about a coat? Really? Do you really expect him as an up to just meet with a patient? He didn't even he wasn't even my upkeeper until ten minutes ago, Dant. What the heck? I believe this is the phrase the pot calling the kettle black. Mr. Conspiracy. The name is McNacho! How do you expect me to find you even remotely credible if you can't say my name right? Sigh. You are a very bizarre detective, Ace. I'll take that as a compliment. And get back to the actual conversation. Thank you very much. So, we have a deal then. Indeed we do. I look forward to our next visit. Sounds good. Goodbye, Mr. Deck. From there, that's... Like, birds aren't that big. They don't need that many calories compared to the, uh... Meat. Humans, that's what they're called. So, I mean, it's... I feel like if they cared about carbohydrates enough, they would have figured out farming too. But then why do they still scrounge for pizza? Availability? Like, you take a cooked thing, to my understanding, and it supposedly tastes significantly improved compared to a raw version of that food. But the thing is, it's not I the fact that- I to consume pizza once. What? Say again? My upkeepers had to clean out my insides for an entire day afterwards. Alright, but you don't have the equipment. Birds do. You don't have a digestive tract. Birds do. Oh. Even though it's kind of bad. But like, Perhaps again, I should be a bird. I mean, it's... Uh, if you can get the installs, I mean, you're already made out of a lighter alloy than most of the rest of us, right? Like, that's part of the whole bee thing? Correct! So, I mean, it's... it's there's nothing wrong with possibilities, but like... Between all of the different toppings that... A seagull specifically would want to go for. I feel like they would want to go with pineapple more than anything because bird diets are more fruit-based than they are carbohydrate or protein-based. 
anchovies would make more sense given their regular sea diet. Well, yeah, but most humans don't eat anchovies because anchovies are, according to most humans, gross. Then what about other meats, such as the aforementioned ham or pepperoni? I feel like both of those are a little bit more difficult to actually get off of a slice of pizza if they can't eat the whole thing. Because like, Most pineapple... humans, if they don't like pepperoni, will pick off each pepperoni slice individually before eating it as cheese pizza. Uh, I've been told by several preeminent scholars that uh, those are not actually humans. Those are, those are animals masquerading as humans. Castellese, are you all right? You seem concerned about something and are attempting to distract yourself from it. Uh, just reading. Nothing special. Are you implying that my case files aren't special? I work hard on those. Yes, they are very excellent works of fiction based on true events. I wrote everything down exactly according to what happened as I recorded. Through your own perspective lens. As I said, that's what makes it excellent fiction. Ace. Did you record our meeting with your new upkeeper? I record everything. Why? Do you want to make sure I don't tell what happened through my perspective lens? Not exactly. The upkeeper matched the description of the stranger that confronted Castellese. I wanted to know if his voice matched that of what Castellese recollected. Oh, come on. Castellese described him so vaguely that it could be over a third of the people in this city. Exactly. All the more reason to use things such as voice, which is easier to identify. That's something a good detective would do, would it not? Besides, if I'm wrong, then there's nothing to be concerned about. Do you want, do you want to be a detective? You can be a play detective, but you didn't know. Guess not. We have a deal then. Indeed we do. I look forward to our next visit. Play that again for a sec. might not be an Edison, but I can keep you from falling apart long enough to let him get mad at me for fixing you. <laughs> That's him! That's the guy I saw! Just as I thought. What? Whoever Deck really is, if that's even his real name, is obviously posing as an upkeeper in order to get closer to me, and therefore my client, Castellese. Quite clever. However, he made the fatal mistake of not dressing the part of an upkeeper, wearing such a loose, dashing trench coat. I might never have picked up on him otherwise. Castellese, come tomorrow. You and I are going on a stakeout to see what cards this deck is hiding. What?